Hi, this is Justin with Hammerhead Showers, and in this video, I'm hopefully gonna show you how to get off toilet paper and onto a bidet sprayer. This is our all metal bidet sprayer set, which attaches to your toilet. It's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna break it down from instructions we got in here. All you'll need is a towel to mop up some of the uh, water drops coming from the toilet supply line when we disconnect that. And either nice solid adjustable wrench or I got some pliers here with a protective cap so you don't scratch the finish. So the first thing that you want to do is take your towel, place it underneath the valve here. Just keep your workspace nice and dry. And you want to uh, close this valve down. So this is a full turn valve all the way to the right. Um, and then once that's closed, flush the toilet all the way. We want to get all the water out of the tank so there's no water uh, dripping out of the connection here once we detach that. Seems good. So now that this is off, this is empty, we're going to loosen this nut off. See here? There you go. Uh, you do need to have a flexible supply line to install this bidet, so if you don't have a flexible one like this, you'll need to replace it. Also, if this is damaged uh, or looks in bad shape, uh, you'll want to replace this too. So now we'll install the T-valve adapter, which connects the toilet supply line, the bidet hose, uh, to the toilet uh, fill valve. Um, so we do include Teflon tape, uh, but that's only optional if you need to troubleshoot some leaking connections. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten this right on. Just wanna make sure that the rubber washer is seated in there. This is pre-installed. Um, that's gonna give us our uh, compression uh, seal. So, I like to have the lever out this way and then the hose for the bidet coming around the side here. That way you have easy access to this on off lever. Couple of things, because the toilet fill valve, this nipple coming out of the bottom of the toilet tank is plastic, just be careful to not cross thread it um, and get a good start on the threads. Hand tighten it as much as you can. And then you can use your adjustable wrench. Don't want to over tighten it. Okay. We have the T valve installed. Uh, we'll go ahead and connect the toilet supply line to the bottom here. Okay. Just hand tighten that. Uh, next part is the hose. So these are just protective caps. Oh, we need to unthread that part. And then those are of no use. And then same here, these just unthread. Starting with this side, this is the, that hex nut side. And this is the side that will connect to the T-valve. OK. 
Okay. And tighten it as much as you can and just give it a little. Bit more with the wrench. Then you got the brass sprayer itself. Make sure that washer is seated in there. So this is that conical nut side, that round nut side. You wanna make sure that this is on uh, this side because this is what's gonna seat into the holder. Um, so there you go. This is only hand tighten. Uh, do not need to use a wrench. And then you have your holder mount. Uh, I'm going to attach this to the, the tank here. But if you wanted to, you could mount it to the wall with the hardware included. You'll just unscrew the holder from this hook and then you can mount it to the wall. Um, but in this case, just go ahead and remove the toilet tank. So, and then lay it on there. So it's installed on the toilet now. Uh, so now that we have this all installed, we're gonna open up the valve to the toilet first. Starting very slowly. Don't want to blast the water in there. You want to look, see if there's any leaking here. Because if there is, then you want to shut this back down and look and take care of the areas that are leaking, either by uh, tightening, you know, about a eighth to a quarter of a turn uh, more on the connections that are leaking. And of course, you can always use the Teflon tape. but we're not seeing any leaking at all on any of these connections. Um, toilets filling back up. Uh, now at this time, what we can do is we can test out the sprayer. So when the lever is pointed up, it's off. And that's how you should keep it when you're not using it. When you're sitting on the toilet and you use the toilet and you need to use this, just reach back and uh, adjust the lever, okay? Or uh, if you have mobility issues, do it before you sit down on the toilet. Um, you just don't want to leave these things on for too long because there's a lot of pressure going through the toilet constantly through the supply lines and you don't want to create an unnecessary leak. So it's a good safety measure uh, just to make sure there's no unnecessary leaking. Um, so I will say and come in here so I can show you, you only need to move this lever just a bit to get some pressure here. So, so you can hear the water coming in a bit. So I would consider that to be, you know, a fairly gentle spray. I just close it a little bit more. If I open it a bit more. That's all the way. That's way too much pressure. You don't need that much unless you're, you're cleaning something. If you're cleaning the toilet or cloth diapers, let's say. Go ahead and close that. Hang it up. And there you go. You have your all metal bidet sprayer, leaves you nice and clean. 
feeling fresh, ready to go back about your day. Thanks for joining me at Hammerhead Showers.